going on YouTube? So today on this channel, we're going to check out Swan's Pan and Tilt Wi-Fi security camera. This is a standalone camera. It doesn't require an NVR or a DVR. It uses their Always Safe app for their Android phone or iPhone. And let's get started in opening this box. First, they package it really well. And at the top, uh, it looks like instructions. Come on. Get into this real quick. It looks like they have kind of a see-through. Actually, it's a reversed style sticker, so you can put it on the inside of the window, and they can see it outside. Kind of let you know that uh, you're secured by Swan security cameras. Uh, looks like you got a uh, in a different language. In Spanish, you have uh, a user manual, quick start manual, and then you got it in English as well. Then you have what is their extended warranty golden ticket. So it looks like you have 18 months of free warranty and it includes 16, or uh, sorry, a six month extension if you register your warranty over at swan.com slash register. So I'll go ahead, if you get this, go ahead and uh, get your extra six months by registering here. Then you have more stickers. Oh, lots of stickers. You have eight stickers. Uh, so you can put these on your windows of your house, all over the house. That way anybody knows that you're protected. All right, let's get the first box out of here. Check it out. Ooh, so they give you a, well, so they give you an ethernet cable. You don't need this, this is probably three foot, but you don't need this since it's a Wi-Fi camera. But just in case you have a poor Wi-Fi signal, you can actually use this. That's that's neat. You have looks like about a 10-foot cable, USB or micro USB for power. You have a mount that you can mount on the wall at any angle, looks like, and then mounting screws with uh, drywall anchors. That's nice. So this gives you the ability to mount the camera on the wall. Uh, or you can have the ability to have the camera on the actual desk or a flat surface. Then you have then you have a USB power plug that goes with a power cable. And then they package it really well in this little styrofoam protector. You have the actual camera itself. You get two styrofoam. Get this baby out of here. So there you go. As you can see, it is a pan and tilt style. Uh, it has two antennas. One's probably for five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz for the other one. So it has access to both Wi-Fi. Uh, has access to both five and 2.4 gigahertz networks. And then on the back, it has a QR code that you can scan. All right, let's start with the back. Like I said, it's got dual band. Uh, Wi-Fi, so one's 5 gigahertz and one's 2.4, if that's my understanding of it, or it uses both of these. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do know it does 5 gigahertz and 2.4. And then further on the back, you have the Ethernet port, and then you have the micro SD port so that it can record to, and then you also have power here uh, for the micro USB. At the very top, you have the light sensor right up here. And you actually have the camera itself right here. And then you have the infrared, the LEDs around the actual camera. So that way you can see it at night. And then down here, you can see that right there is the microphone. So that way when you talk to people, oh, it looks like you got speakers on both sides. Um, but that way when you talk to people through your camera or through your app on your phone, you can actually hear them talking as well. That's a nice feature to have because that way you can actually see what's going on via the camera but you can also hear what's going on. So if some, two people are talking, you can actually hear what they're saying. Then you have two LEDs here. One on the left is the power LED, and the one on the right is the Wi-Fi LED. I'm assuming that when Wi-Fi is connected, it actually has uh, a color for the LED there. And then you have their logo right here. So this is a pretty solid uh, make, plastic uh, mount and everything. Uh, you Also on the bottom, you have Looks like, I'm not sure what thread size that is, maybe a quarter, but it goes on this mount right here. It looks like maybe a standard mount for a tripod, so that would be like a quarter thread. 
but you can use this for a flat surface. So it's got rubber pads here. And then you can also mount it to this mount or you can use similar threads to mount it somewhere else. So a few things to know about this. It pans 355 degrees around horizontally and it can tilt up and down 105 degrees. And all of this done is via the app. So you can move this around via the actual app on your iPhone or your Android device. It has 1080p full HD with an 80 degree viewing angle and 50 foot night vision. So that what that means is anything 50 foot and closer to this, it can see using its own night vision. It has two-way audio so you can talk and listen. Records to an SD card and you can use an SD card up to 64 gigabytes. You can either leave it on a flat surface, which is great for renters for apartments or townhomes or anything like that, condos maybe even. Or if you want to mount it somewhere permanently, you can actually use the actual bracket and mount it that way. And they provide the hinge and the screws for you. And then you can use the Always Safe app to see live footage as well as playback footage that's been recorded to the actual SD card. So in the settings function, you have lots of settings here. You got network status, you've got Wi-Fi on display. You can actually change the position, anything you want here. You can flip the rotation, you can turn on anti-flicker. So if it's actually um, needing to change the light frequency, uh, you can flip the mirroring and rotation of the camera itself. And then see here, you need quality. So you can change up the frame rates. You can go, it looks like 30, 15, all the way down to two. Leave it 15 for now. Bit rate you can change even. So you can go down to uh, 1024 and all the way up to 6144. So depending on your network speed outside the house uh, will depend on what bit rate you want to use. And then resolution, you go down to 720p if you wanted to. And it looks like you can do alarm settings. You can actually do turn on and off the infrared settings. Um, you can set up to send an email alert, uh, send alarm alerts, auto upgrade. So you can upgrade the firmware automatically on this device. And uh, you can actually change this to uh, PAL versus NTSC. I think it's PAL, PAL or PAL. So depending on what region you're in, um, you can restore from a backup, looks like, and reboot manually or delete this device. All right, I figured out what was wrong with it. It connected me to Xfinity Wi-Fi instead of my actual Wi-Fi. Uh, so now we're good to go here. I don't know why it was being pain in the butt there. There you go, quickly live stream. Quickly live stream. So I realized that you can click the little expand here so that it's a uh, different angle here. So now I can use this right here for the joystick. Oops. I can pan up. Pan right or left. That's pretty cool. Um, you can actually take a photo, saving the image to my uh, my phone itself. You can also look like record video live to your phone. That's pretty cool. So this is a sample video of a recording that the actual camera got itself. The audio you're hearing right now is the audio that's straight from the actual camera itself. So this is kind of a sample of what the quality is of the video, as well as the quality of the audio that you'll be hearing. This uh, sound test, what you're hearing right now is the audio from the camera itself. So summarize, this is a great indoor security camera. Uh, it's 1080p, it can be downgraded to 720p, it depends on what your network allows you to upload to the cloud, or I'm sorry, not the cloud, but upload to your actual uh, phone, so that way when you stream, uh, that way you're not taking up so much bandwidth. Um, you can change a lot of things on this down to bitrate. I actually have not seen a camera, I mean there's a few cameras out there for security that you can change the bitrate on. This is one of the first ones I've seen that are within the price range. Uh, this one is $100. I'll link that product in the description below so you can check it out yourself. But uh, so for $100, this is a pretty good camera itself. For everything they give you, uh, I'd say it's great value. And the build quality of it is awesome. If you have any questions about what I went over about this camera, go ahead and put them down below in the description. I'd be happy to answer them for you.
If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video. Until then, I'll see you next time.